The whole country watched the landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon with bated breath. And one of the most remarkable things about this elegantly orchestrated moon landing is the cost at which it was done. India has achieved this extraordinary feat at a fraction of the cost as compared to our counterparts in the space race. It's two and a half times lesser than the reported budget of Russia's Lunar 25, which ended up crashing on the lunar surface. Not just that, Chandrayaan-3 mission cost less than some Hollywood and Bollywood films as well. Let's take a look at the cost breakdown and how ISRO did this. Chandrayaan-3 is ISRO's third expedition to the lunar surface and it cost around $74 million, which is just about 615 crore rupees. Let's compare this to some of the latest Hollywood blockbuster releases, making Oppenheimer cost around $100 million, which is 813 crore rupees. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning had a budget of $291 million, which is 2,414 crore rupees. In fact, even the Bollywood film Adi Purush had a bigger budget of $84 million, which is 700 crore rupees, according to estimates. While these comparisons in absolute terms are striking, one thing that's important to note is that the purchasing power in the US or the UK is not the same as in India. Here's a video that we put out on the purchasing power parity. You can understand all about it here. For a more accurate comparison, let's look at how much money countries have spent on their space programs based on the percentage of the money as per their GDP. In 2023, the US Space Agency received $25.4 billion in funding as compared to ISRO's budget of $1.6 billion. According to the reports by the Space Foundation, the US spends the most on space, that is 0.28% of its GDP. That is way more than India's budget for its space missions, which are just 0.04% of our GDP. The frugal cost of the mission caught even Elon Musk's attention, who reacted to a tweet comparing the budget of Chandrayaan-3 and Interstellar. When compared to specific lunar missions by other space agencies, Chandrayaan-3 stands out once again. Russia's Luna 25, which was attempting the same thing as Chandrayaan-3, it had a budget of $190 to $200 million. US's Apollo 11, which was the first to reach the moon, had a whopping budget of $350 million. Meanwhile, the NASA is expected to spend as much as $93 billion for its moon exploration program Artemis by 2025. Chandrayaan-3's budget was notably lower than even Chandrayaan-2, which is around $118 million, which is 978 crore rupees. This indicates a consistent effort by ISRO to enhance efficiency and reduce costs. The allocated budget encompasses everything from the spacecraft and the launch vehicle to the critical ground support facilities. So hats off once again to ISRO.